Hello everyone, have a great weekend. It is Friday. Uh, I'll probably publish this on let's see, Monday, is that right? Yeah, Monday, because I already have one coming out tomorrow, which is Saturday. Uh, I shot that early, and this one will be on Monday. I have a new Facebook uh, account. If you look on the, some of the videos, you'll see that on my original Facebook, I made the mistake of saying that Donald Trump, a dog just went by to see him, Donald Trump is going to be the next president. Well, Facebook says, oh, no, that's hate speech. You can't say that. Now, if he's elected, then I guess what I, you're only allowed to post things like Donald Trump stole the election. I guess that's if he does win, which he's going to uh, in 2024, in November. Uh, don't forget to get your marijuana. Uh, if he is elected, which he will be, uh, I'm sure back then we had to say he stole the election, it was rigged, whatever, all kinds of bad things. But I did say that Biden was going to lose because he's going to lose and Trump's going to win because he's going to win. Do you like Trump? Do you not like Trump? Do you like Biden? Do you not like Biden? Who knows? I don't know, but I'm just that's just the facts, you know. Uh, they're saying that on CNN, MSNBC, New York Times, uh, even the LA Times has a few articles about some of the stuff he's been up to. And it's not going to be Biden. Biden got a chance. We gave him a chance. Hey, Biden, here's a job for you to do. And he did it, and we said, hmm, Biden, we don't like the way you did it, so we're going to have to get somebody else. Is anybody else that wants Biden's job? Oh, Donald Trump? Okay. And so I got booted out of Facebook on my original account. So I do have a new one, uh, and the information is back. That way, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. And by the title, you can probably see there's another Q&A, which stands for questions and answers. I even made a Facebook group uh, that is attached to the new Facebook um, uh, account, my Facebook page, whatever, uh, and they kind of all mixed up now. But you can still send me messages on my old Facebook. I just, I can't really send anything out. So if you have a question, you can put it on the Q&A. You can add it down here. You can add it to any of the videos that you like to do, and I'll put them on my napkin. I have a napkin here. I think I have, yeah, 11 items, and then one came in after and I put it on there, don't look, that'll be for the next one. So right now we have 11 for this one and one for the next one. So we need some more questions. So right down there, Q&A, question and answer, put your question, I'll try to answer. Or if you have an answer to some that someone else has asked, maybe someone asked one on here and I, and I give an answer and maybe you think that's incorrect or maybe I'm like, eh, I'm not really sure. Maybe you can say, oh, you know what, David, I tried that. That actually worked for me or something like that. Uh, let's be positive and let's be nice to everyone. Uh, so if you say, hey, David, I was told that if you eat like six teaspoons of sugar before bed, you'll lose weight. I was, you know, for me, that probably wouldn't work. If it were for you, let me know more about it. This is what I'm going to say, that's not going to work. Six teaspoons of sugar? Oh, um, you're going to run out your teeth. Oh, you're going to have a, whatever, an infection in your mouth. I don't know. But uh, just as an example, I make it so obscure that no one gets to feel hurt. Okay, so here we go. Number one, number one. Uh, this person, I believe, is in a wheelchair, the international sign of wheelchair is this. I guess blind is this, I don't know. We make, I can't hear you, that's death. I'm not sure, but anyway, so she was asking, and it is a she, about acting for disabled. No, I am disabled. Uh, I have a hearing loss. Um, I can hear that, that noise right there, but I do have hearing loss due to the fact I was at the military. I worked at the firing range. Now, a lot of people go to the range once a year, maybe twice a year in the military. In their jobs, they wear headsets and everything. We try to keep them. Uh, safe from hearing loss, but if you do every single solitary day, uh, sometimes seven days a week, eventually, you know, you're out there eight hours a day, ten hours a day, seven days a week, you're gonna get some damage. And I do have some damage, but acting for disabled, I do include that. Uh, or a disabled veteran, because I am. Uh, that helps me some, yes. Now, some people were talking about this, and I was just gonna tell my friend Emily about this, uh, about working at, with disabled. Uh, one thing they don't like to do is they don't like to put a person, they want to have someone with real disabilities that actually have the disabilities, but if there's one where they have to learn lines, uh, sometimes they're going to have to use somebody that is not necessarily disabled that way. So if you have a learning disability, I don't know the proper word, they may not use you, or I did work with someone and they had to hire an actress to play a woman with Tourette's because she only has a couple of lines on there, like an under five or a support role. But if she just screams out all the time because she really has Tourette's, she may say things that are inappropriate that they can't cover on there. Maybe she says uh, some bad words for a racial or maybe someone's sexual orientation and they don't really want to go there. They just want someone that maybe has a twitch and makes the uh, some of the things and they want to write those for her. 
But the problem with that is it's hard to control that because what if she does more than that? And what if you are playing as someone that's disabled and you put, I have Tourette's, and it's for background only. To be featured background, maybe it's $300, $400 a day, good money, but they have to understand, the person has to understand you can't speak. And if you have Tourette's, or if you have a mental um, learning disability, a strong learning disability, maybe you're autistic, or you may speak, or you may, I, I worked in one where the kid kept jumping up and hugging me uh, because I was walking in a dog on the show. And the, 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 the dog from the company that provides the dog, they kept running to hug me. Can I pet your dog real loud? You don't have to do that. He's just, well, just playing softball, He's playing catch with a softball in a minute. Uh, and I guess he plays on a team for the Special Olympics, but he couldn't stop doing that. And I don't really know whatever happened with that. Did they blur out this dialogue? Could they have, I don't know what they could have done, but if you get paid to not speak, and then you speak, they have to give you more money unless they fire you or something like that. So, yeah, so acting with disability, if you have disability, and you think you should put it in there sometimes, sometimes they don't, they, they don't want people with disabilities and maybe not include it. Um, if you feel you, it's unethical, unethical to not include it and include it, but I would, I, I just put disabled better. And if they ask me what's wrong, do, do I have mobility issues? No. Yeah, can I, you know, do I, am I blind? No. Uh, am I deaf? No. I just have a little bit of hearing disability. And I'll put 10% or if they ask me about that, and sometimes they will ask me, what's your disability? They, 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 they nicely say, well, or do you need any accommodations? I think is what they say. So that was number one. Um, so yeah, if you're disabled, you put it to your advantage, I would imagine. So if they're looking for people to be spectators uh, in, in the stands for the Special Olympics, you say, well, you know, by the way, I am disabled. I have to use a cane or a, I have to use a walker or, you know, I'm, I'm legally blind. Uh, legally blind, yeah. And speaking of legally, the second question I was asking, to ask this from someone from Maine, the country of Maine, they're getting a lot of Hispanic, they say, illegal aliens. Now, I think the new proper term is new, newly arrived residents without proper documentation. That's a mouthful. My friend who came here uh, as a child from El Salvador, uh, he would call himself a wet bat. Now, that's not nice, I was going to say that word, but that's what he called himself. Yeah, and, and also one thing about this is if you are in Maine, the people may not be from Mexico. But I, I live here in the United States in California and everybody who is Hispanic is, uh, even if they, I don't know if they call themselves so Hispanic, but they're Spanish speaking and they come from a country in which the origin of the language is Spanish and maybe have browner skin than I do. That's not hard to do. Uh, they may be from Guatemala, they may be from Cuba, they may be from Spain, maybe they're from Puerto Rico and they speak Spanish. Everybody says, ah, oh, you're a Mexican. You know, and they're not. So he was asking about that. Do we have a lot here? Uh, yes, we do. Um, do I go and check their documents? No, I don't. Uh, when we used to, when I used to manage restaurants, I have to check the ID, and I was not the ID police. I was not the ID police. They would say, "You must check this, and you, you must check this account, and you must do this, and we fully inspect this." There's a big thing about that. About where restaurants hiring people from other countries, paying them less than you pay someone from this country. Were they doing that? Yes, yes, they were. I know some that were working for half of the minimum wage, but they were nice enough to let them work 18 hours a day. Uh, that's sarcastic. Yeah, they said, well, you, you, your check is this. Like, the only the end of the day money number is all that matters. Well, that's true when you're paying bills, but if you want to spend some, you know, spend some time with your family, you have to work 18 hours a day, six or seven days a week. That's not really fair. And they wouldn't pay them the overtime if they got the 18 hours. They would pay them a flat rate. Okay, you're working. Uh, I need you for 18 hours, I'll give you a hundred bucks a day. That, kind of thing. that was not an exaggeration. So yes, we have those here. Um, that would be lying if I said no. My, my interaction with them is I probably see them daily, uh, I would imagine. Some of the time it's gonna be in a job that they always say what white person wants to do this job. I'm sure there's some. There's things like landscapers. Um, when, I, when I work in the acting industry, um, a lot of time the ones that will work for some of these craft services or catering companies, uh, they are, I can't send a document anymore. You gotta say newly arrived residents without proper documentation. People. Uh, I know some, there was some, uh, quite a few that went to Mount San Antonio College. I came out when everybody thought that Trump was gonna deport everybody, that Trump was gonna drive down to our little college and say, all right, everybody in the truck. If you're not from here, show, show me your ID, get in the truck, in the truck, and, and he was to drive them all to their countries. I knew that was never happened. I told them that's not gonna happen because of this, it's a simple fact. 
If we can't keep people from bringing fentanyl across our border, we're not bringing little Jose, we're not taking Jose and kicking him out because his parents brought him here when he was four. It's not gonna happen. So anyway, yes, we have them, uh, not a big deal. Uh, what they're saying now is they're getting a lot of people here. In the old days, they would, would maybe get some from Canada, I guess, uh, that overstayed their visas or their, their student visa, or whatever it is, work visas. And they um, are now getting a lot of Hispanic that don't speak English, a lot of, you know, want to knock on the door, want to mow the grass. That's, yeah, so uh, that's been, we don't have that anymore because here there's a big industry to where if I was living in a country other than the United States and I want to come here without documentation, I'm sure I'd have family members here ahead of me that I could go to work with them and develop a relationship with other people. And, and we, we hire them um, and hopefully not mistreat them. Okay, number three, this is why this take a long time. Number three, was I ever treated like a star? Yes, yes I was. Uh, a couple of times I would show up and I have kind of, kind of a featured background role, still background not speaking, and they would give me my own trailer because they thought, you know, they're, 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 in case they want to upgrade me, in case they want to do this, I wouldn't have, I, I don't think I would have a complaint, but a lot of times they think you complain, well they didn't treat me right, I'm a principal actor. Well, I was hired as a background actor, I'll take the upgrade, thank you. Uh, yeah, so that's, yeah, I do get treated like a star sometimes. Uh, you'll be surprised how good, if you do acting, uh, how good you get treated sometimes. You're like, wow. I mean, when you go to lunch on your own, you might go to McDonald's and get a double cheeseburger, but here I am eating, you know, uh, filet mignon and lobster and delicious chicken dishes is available to me. Um, so yes, yeah, so sometimes you do get treated like a star. A lot of times it is in the food arena, sometimes. They'll put you in really nice clothes. They'll let you drive a really great car. I, got, I drove a Ferrari on one. It's a lot of fun. Number four is oatmeal okay? That's up to you and your doctor and your um, uh, your uh, nutritionist. What I do is when I eat oatmeal, uh, a lot of times they'll say one cup of oatmeal. That's a lot. If I eat one cup of oatmeal, I'm probably not gonna be hungry for two days. I eat between a quarter of a cup most times if I'm gonna eat it. And I'm not gonna have more food later. I'll just have a quarter of a cup. Uh, I think the American standard is about one half of a cup. So I have half of that, but I'll drink a little milk with it. So yes, yeah, so it's okay for me. Do I put brown sugar on it? Nope, would I like to? Probably. Maple syrup? Nope. How about raisins? Nope. So I don't put any of those kind of things on it. It's just oatmeal and water. Uh, I've never really made oatmeal milk. I know they make it that way. In fact, on set, I had it a few times. I go, oh, this is really delicious. And we use really good whole milk. Uh, and I, I, I used to put raisins in it, but I didn't put anything. It was just so rich and creamy and kind of delicious. Uh, let's see, next was a little wind here. Um, do I always get approval from my doctor? <laughs> no, I did that long walk and I'm sure my doctor would say no. If you go back that way, don't forget to subscribe by the way, but if you go back that way and look at my birthday month challenge from when I turned 60, I'm now 62, and um, you will see I walked 300,000 steps, I mean sorry, 600, 610,000 steps in a month. Would she have said yes to that? She would say no to that. Would my physical trainer, if I had one, say yes? No, they'd say no to that. If I talked to my pharmacist, would they no to that? If I talked to anyone, no to that. If I went to WebMD, no to that. Did I do it anyhow? Yeah, I did. So go back there and look at it. Birthday month challenge. You'll see a whole long series. How many steps? I found weed. I fell on my face and got a bloody injury. I met all kinds of people encouraging. Some people try to give me food, thinking that I was homeless. <laughs> I probably did look homeless. I, like I said, what does uh, whatever look like? What does the homeless look like? Uh, this guy walking. Uh, medical setbacks. I know the person asked this. I didn't write it. Was a question. She was asking me, do I get discouraged with that? Yes, I do. Right now, I can't go on long walks. I miss it. I, my, my weight's gone up a little bit. My numbers have gone up a little bit. Uh, and I'm having trouble sleeping uh, due to the fact I'm not getting that, burning off all that energy. I'm a high energy guy. So that's tough. So yeah, I, I try to let it get to me. I know sometimes we do have to make a... a, a, a Adaptations, as it was called, uh, accommodations, uh, modifications to what we do. Uh, she says, Do I, this other person, do I get, this is actually a guy, do I get tired or sleepy? Yes, I do. Uh, I try not to nap because then I, it's easier for me to sleep at night. Sometimes I mess up on that. I do take a nap because I am sleepy. I don't think I really get tired right now because I'm not really doing a lot of physical stuff. It feels like I'm tired because I'm not getting the exercise in which I used to get, but I do get sleepy. Um, how, okay, number eight, this is the eighth question. We only have, this is a, we have four more including this one. Okay, someone asked me, how much did I weigh when I was on Nip Tuck? She saw the episode in 
in which I was on Nip Tuck. If you go to my Facebook page, you'll see some photos of me there. Um, my old Facebook. I don't have any, I didn't move any of my photos over. If you want to see a photo of that, send me an email um, and I will show that to you. So my email is David Lost. I mean, David Loves to Act at gmail.com. I don't think I can post a photo in the comment section of a YouTube video. So it's David, D A V I D, loves, like the diapers, L U V S, the number two. A C T Apple Charlie Tango says David loves to act at gmail.com. Uh, you'll see it many many times. Maybe I'll type it in here. Uh, but if you look at some of the videos, you'll see it. If you look at my uh, my thing, I think when I was on NipTuck, I was about 305 pounds. I think <laughs> so. A lot heavier than I'm now. Um, and that's what someone just used the F word, not fire truck, at somebody, telling them to get the F word out of my way. No, crazy. You always use a joke. What are we in New York? Uh, number nine. Why do I not use the WW Weight Watchers or Jenny Craig, etc.? Um, I'm not saying they get some. They may be great. They cost money. Um, and I know a lot of those programs. You'll see the basic program listed, but then it, the people that are getting really great results with it, they're doing a lot more than that, and they're paying for a lot more. So the basic program, if it's just some meals, I have eaten some. Uh, Jenny Craig meals. If you go back that way, you'll see a video of me eating a Jenny Craig hamburger. And a lot of people say, well, you're on a diet, so you can eat this. Or you're on a diet, you can't eat this. Well, it depends on the diet that you're on. We're all on a diet. Uh, the one cheese where I ate, I removed half of the bun, so I would have fewer carbs. I could have removed all the bun, but it wouldn't be much to it because it was just like a hamburger patty, a piece of cheese, and the bun. And that's all that was on there. Um, yeah. So, um, uh, I don't use the programs. I've never used the programs. What I think about doing, yeah, if, if, if Weight Watchers called me tomorrow and said, David, we'd like you to try Weight Watchers and we're gonna provide you with the food and maybe you can be an endorser of our products. Sure, I'll do a Nutrisystem, same thing. Any of you guys, Jenny Craig, if you want me to do that, you know where to find me. Uh, speaking of that, number 10 has asked me, can I shoot a video for their product and what would the cost be? Let's talk about that. Is that called offline? Uh, yes, of course I could. If you send me your product, I like it. You say, David, I'd like you to shoot me a video. The ones I've done in the past were, uh, I think it's 125, 100, 75, and 50. I think I've done like four. Uh, so when I just sent me a product, would you like to try it? And I didn't post it on my channel, but they, they told me not to. I mean, they told me I didn't have to. So I didn't, uh, if you want me to post it on my channel, if it's something like, hi, uh, you know, Karen sent me these delicious pretzels. I cannot believe that they are low carb pretzels. Calm, calm, calm. These are delicious. Karen, you make a great pretzel. And I would do that. Then I would charge them a certain amount of money, throw it on my channel, charge them something like that. Maybe I, for every bag of Karen's delicious low carb pretzels, I get 50 cents. We can figure it out. I trust you. Okay, one more, one more, one more. This was the kind of photo I have ever, ever done a coffee cleanse. No, I've never done any of those where some of the people tell me they take an enema of certain items to, for their thing. Other people say they don't eat at all. They go on a uh, plant fast, intermittent, intermittent fasting or whatever. So they'll do a cleanse where they sometimes they'll get some kind of a drink and they put a bunch of stuff in there. I think that's how it's supposed to get rid of your things in your body. So poo poo and pee pee, I guess. I don't know. But you're supposed to cleanse your body of all that while doing the intermittent fasting. I don't know, but I've never done that. So we do have one more question that's going to be on our next QA because they didn't make the cutoff. Uh, when will I do the next one? I don't know. That's up to you. Send me your questions down here. David. David loves to act at gmail.com. You can send it to my Facebook, put it on any video. You can watch one of my videos. Say, hey, I had a question about that, David. What does that taste like? Ask me. And, I'll, and, and and usually it'll notify me that I got a question uh, or a comment. So if you put it in the comment section, don't forget, speaking of comments, we do have the rosy contest. Back that way. If you want to win a rosy Barbie doll, you got to hurry because you only have it until June. 15th, I think it is, or 14th, um, and we're doing it for two months this time, not one month. Last month, we only had four people that signed up. Right now, we only got three, but we have more than a month to go, so don't forget to do that. If, uh, if you want to win that, you may not want to share that video because other people might join, and they'll win, but go to that video and hit the, and, and, and comment. People say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a member. I've already I've already entered your contest, David. I said, no, you did not. And watching the video, no, that's not like entering. Liking the video, no, no. No, sharing it, no, 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 no. Subscribing, no. Now, uh, do I want you to do all those things? Like I said before, I'm trying to put my thing away. Oh, my list. Because I got one more question on there next time.
to, to, if you want to add to my add to my list, onto my magic napkin, put it down there. But the only way to do it on YouTube is to put a comment on there. Then there's a special company. I think they make their money by trying to get me, not you, to buy a, 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 a professional account. The one I have now, I think I'm only allowed to do like maybe five and a period of time. I don't know what the period of time is, but I did one and this one's going to be a two month one. So that's going to be two and a total of what, four months. So, um, I'm sorry, three months. So I think I'll be okay. But they want to sell me a, a, a professional account like someone that maybe does. I know some channels do one, like once or twice a week. Those are usually from channels attached to a certain product. Like if I own a huge coffee company, I might do that. Hey, don't forget to come and try our coffee like put a comment down here about how you like our brand new blonde rose coffee and you may win a prize they do this all the time so it's not that exciting and it costs a lot of money so both reasons are why i'm not doing that there's also the treasure hunt going on right now treasure hunt treasure hunt so make sure you subscribe hit the notifier bell subscribe to the number so you get those clues as to where that treasure might be where in the heck is that treasure where's waldo is he holding the treasure and running around and hiding i don't know waldo but anyway that's it, folks. That's the Q&A. Have a great weekend because I am shooting this on Friday, and I will have it out on, let's see. I got Fridays done going into Saturday, so this will be Sunday going to Monday. Okay, a new video coming out tomorrow, and then um, that was one I was supposed to be shooting today, but I shot it yesterday. And then the one I'm shooting today, I'm supposed to be shooting, filming on Sunday, um, and it'll be coming out on Monday. Then there's also going to be a taste test Tuesday for Tuesday as well so we got like a lot of videos coming out if you like the videos give me a uh, good old how do you do thumbs up don't forget that contest have a great weekend take care ask questions ask questions ask questions always remember also ask questions of your doctor of your of your pharmacist your, your nutritionist whoever you have a lot of times they won't know you even have a question unless you ask it and a lot of times they don't maybe necessarily want to hear a question don't don't give them that that they don't have the right that if they are a doctor and they're taking your money or they work for a company that whatever they have to answer your questions so be respectful and ask those questions yeah have a great have a great weekend everybody take care